shall not, I shall not be moved. I said, I shall not, I shall not be moved just like a tree that's planted by the water. I shall not be moved. Glory, hallelujah. I said, glory, hallelujah. I shall not be moved. Oh, glory, hallelujah. I shall not be moved like a tree. Planted by the water, I shall not. Hello, everyone. It is so wonderful to see you all out here. I know that it was a little bit harder because of the rain, but it's it means so much, and it's very impactful to have you all here. My name is Lourdes, and I am a faith community organizer with the Interfaith Movement for Human Integrity. Uh, thank you. <laughs> I would like to welcome you all to our December Interfaith Vigil. Just to give you some background, for the past seven years, Interfaith Movement for Human Integrity had been organizing vigils outside of the West County Detention Center, the Richmond jail that was holding undocumented immigrants while their immigration cases were being fought in court, many of them right inside this building that we are standing in front of. However, with the end of the ICE contract last September, we had to choose a new location where we could continue connecting with families who are living the separation of a loved one because of our unjust immigration laws. So today, we are, out, we are here outside of ICE headquarters. We are here as a larger community to stand in solidarity with the families who have, who have at one point been separated for their family, from their families or continue to be. And we are also here in support of our community members who run the risk of being permanently separated from loved ones simply because this administration believes that recriminalizing people is right. But today we are also here to remind ICE, the Department of Homeland Security and this administration that we are not going anywhere. As long as they keep ignoring our demands to allow families to remain together, these government agencies will be forced to bear witness to these demonstrations of love for our immigrant communities. We will continue to demand they release everyone who still sits unjustly in a detention center. Finally, we will not stop showing up and standing up for the rights of all immigrants because compassion has no walls. So now we are very blessed to be able to hear a testimony from some individuals who um, have been affected and um, continue to be affected. First of all, I just want to say good afternoon, everyone. And thank you so much for coming together collectively in solidarity against this injustice. First of all, my name is uh, Somdan Danny Thongsi. I am a concerned community member who is standing against the injustice of uh, xenophobic, unfair treatment that is being done to our refugee and immigrant community. I cannot be silent as family member are being separated at the border's wall. A little girl died while in ICE custody. An asylum seeker are being denied entry and the onslaught of rage against and deportation targeting my Southeast Asian community. I cannot be silent and watch this happen. A flight on Monday is, is scheduled to take off with Cambodian refugee. And this is injustice because parents will no longer be able to hold their son. Wives will lose their spouses. And sons and daughters will grow up without a father. These people are victims of a war perpetuated by the U.S. From the carpet bombing, the secret war, the genocide, and the com communist takeover, they were forced to flee to refugee camps. There, many were born there and had never set foot on their parents' soil. They were brought over as children, carrying the trauma of war and resettlement. They grew up in neighborhoods that were impoverished. They went to failing public school and were bullied and picked on. As teenagers, they made poor choices, and because of harsh laws and policy, they were caught up in the dragnet of the criminal justice system. Oh, shalom, my holy friends. Thank you all for being out here today. The prophets are very happy with all of us. So I wanted to just offer a little blessing um, for this work and for this presence and for this witness. 
that you're all providing today. B'Shem Hashem Elohei Yisrael Mimini Michael Mismoli Gavdeel Milfanai Uriel Meachorai Raphael Yal Roshi Shechinatel May all who wrestle with the powers that be in the name of justice and truth equality and peace be guided on our right with curiosity and a desire to deeply, deeply understand and on our left with strength and courage and in front of us vision and light to guide the way and behind us healing because the work is hard and we can get a little banged up and over our heads the wholeness, the truth, the oneness that guides this work with respect and dignity with caring and compassion, with a deep desire to understand how we got here in the first place and how together, all of us, inside and outside, will make this journey to wholeness and truth and peace and justice. With good friends, good food, good stories, incredibly fantastic happy endings, and let us all say from the deep roots of our hearts and our spirits, Amen. Amen. Thank you all so much for being here and doing this holy work. Nina Usman from the Council on American Islamic Relations. <laughs> Assalamu alaikum. <laughs> Peace be upon you all. Um, earlier this week, uh, we, members from CARE and uh, from communities across the country, um, had joined in San Diego with people of other faiths. Um, with their brothers and sisters and cousins and had joined in the, in the interfaith action to go to the border to stand in the face of injustice, to stand in front of an army of border patrol agents, to stand for justice, and justice is not for just us, is to stand for those who are stuck behind the border, in cages, or who are, you know, standing and who are facing oppression. Because this is what it is, it's oppression. When you have people who are hungry and who are looking for a better situation, who are looking for safety and security, and who are told, no, you must return you must, you are not welcome here. But we are all here to say, you are welcome. You are welcome. Help me out. I ain't gonna let nobody turn me around, turn me around, turn me around. I ain't gonna let nobody turn me around. I'm gonna keep on walking and keep on talking. And marching up to freedom land I'm gonna let ICE agents turn me around Turn me around, turn me around Ain't gonna let ICE agents turn me around I'm gonna keep on walking and keep on talking And marching up to freedom land Incarceration, gonna let incarceration turn me Ain't gonna let no jail cell turn me around, turn me around, turn me around. Ain't gonna let ICE agents turn me around, turn me around, turn me around. Ain't gonna let ICE agents turn me around, turn me around, turn me around. Ain't gonna let ICE agents turn me